Hey guys, so we're at the Newlands Brewery um, and we're about to go on a beer tour. Um, I'm hoping I'll enjoy it. I think it's mostly for guys because I mean it is beer, but hopefully I'll enjoy it and maybe they'll be tasting at the end. I don't know. So enjoy. Um, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to video, so I'll try my best. Okay, so welcome. This is the reception area. There are a bit of photos and some history of like SAB and the people that have worked there. A few items that are cool to look at and so on. I literally feel like I have a lot of gear on me right now. I have something that looks like a stethoscope. Oh god, I just broke it. No, I didn't. It's just like an earphone thingy. Okay, yeah, so it's like a stethoscope thingy. And they gave us a lanyard with some rules on it. And I saw the rule. No photographs or videos may be taken inside the brewery. Oh wait, okay, we're not inside yet. Please switch off your mobile phone. Oh god. No alcohol may be consumed prior to the tour. Please ensure that you're wearing a fully closed flat shoes. Oh god, so basically I can't take the video because I have to switch off my phone. This is crazy, but I'm not going to do that because I... The first thing that we are going into a working brewery, that means there may be water on the floors. The floors are non slip by nature. But we do just ask you to take care when walking around. Please use the handrails provided when going up and down the stairs. We ask that you refrain from putting your hand in any of the pipes or vessels as they may be hot. If any pipe is dripping, it probably won't be beer, it'll probably be clean detergent. So please don't stick your tongue out and taste it. <laughs> tell you now that it won't be a good experience. Okay, so you have to book in advance and usually they take groups of like 10 to 25 people. Um, I think it's just for safety purposes. And I happen to have met one of the guys in my class, that's Tapiwa. So that's the history of brewing down here in the Cape. But the man who's instrumental in the formation of SAB as we know it today is this man over here, Mr. Charles Glass. So many people believe that Charles Glass is a fictional character made up by our marketing team. He isn't, he was in fact real. And when Charles Glass first arrived here in South Africa in 1888, he came here to make his money in gold. He soon found there was actual money to be made in beer and started brewing what we now know as liquid gold. So he started Castle Breweries as a company up in Johannesburg. Which then expanded across the oh, that should be exciting. Also, I really do think this gear looks cute F on me. So I feel like... What? I feel like I'm doing the wrong course because if I was doing engineering, I would have been a cute engineer. I would have asked them, hey guys, so tell me about your heaping process. I want to, you know, I don't know what they do actually. Um, but yeah. Anyways. Okay, I'm going to go take pictures now. Bye. Okay, so this is where the tour actually starts. We had to walk over to the actual manufacturing plant. On the website, they do say that they don't take people that are handicapped and like use wheelchairs. Um, and it's because it's quite dangerous. So I took these photos illegally. This is inside the plant. Um, it's really warm in there. And then they showed us the main ingredients of beer, which are water, malt, yeast, maize, and hops. I'm not sure what I was tasting here. It literally had no taste. Um, but basically, all beers are made of the same ingredients, um, and they can be made in the same brewery. It just like the the ingredients that they put in vary in terms of like they put in more hops for like your more bitter beers and less for your ciders, I guess, even though those aren't beers. Um, okay, and then they showed us all these um, big tunnels or funnels or whatever they're called. Um, and that's the ward kettle. And apparently it's like really hot. Actually, this whole place is hot, guys. Now for my favorite part of the tour, the packaging. Um, I really enjoyed this part. Just as a disclaimer, this video doesn't belong to me. I had to find it on YouTube because I really don't want to take any videos here. It wasn't safe, quite slippery, and I was really like enjoying it. Anyways, so here you get to see all the empties that come in from people that recycle. Um, they clean them or they make new bottles um, and then they fill it up with like alcohol and all of that. Then they put on the packaging and yeah, it's just, it's a lot. And it's really cool to watch and all these machines work so quickly. You guys have to see it for yourselves, honestly. For 
All right, tasting time. My favorite, not. <laughs> uh, okay, so we had to drink from Casa Light all the way to Milk Stout. Here you can see information about the different beers, how bitter they are, um, the concentration of like hops and like aromas and all of that it was really cool. Um, and like, you know, if you think beer is the same, you really need to try this because it is definitely not the same. So everyone got two tokens and you could redeem them at the bar and get anything. I obviously went for something sweeter just to clean my tongue because I don't like beer at all. Yo, how come they get such a big glass? The glass is thicker. The same size. It's the same size. Just oh. thicker. Oh. See this? Very thick. They're heating us up. Because <laughs> it literally looks like... There's a lot of beer in there. It's a lot. It's definitely a lot. I am having. What is this? I don't know. What is it called? Can you pronounce it? Sorry. Kalinga, yeah. Hukharden. I don't know why I went to Afrikaans, but. It is Afrikaans. Oh. So, um, I have completed my beer tour. It's been fun. It's been great. I enjoyed learning about the whole process. I'm not really enjoying the beer part that much because I don't drink beer. I don't drink, actually. I really did enjoy the actual tour. Um, it's really fascinating how big of a production it is like there's so much that goes into it it's not just get a glass fill it up with beer and then you bounce you know you know i was buzzing with the tasting and now i'm fine babe mm -hmm. do you want to go for lunch because there's, there's, there's spurs across the road is this a date that's if you guys want to come along. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> but yeah, it's up to you. I'll never say no to food. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> what the fuck? What, why is that even a question? Obviously, we are going on a date. Okay, I think it's weird that we've been talking to the salad and people are like watching us. thing is, we met these people on the tour really cool people one of them has the same name as this one okay i'm done bye so if you want to come it costs 100 rand or 80 rand if you're a student with the student card and the tour is about one hour afterwards you can play pool with your friends it's completely free everyone gets a certificate um, and there are nice places for photo shoots for the ladies, you know, my Instagram queens. <laughs> okay, my one didn't come out that great. And yeah, I really had fun and I hope you guys try it out. And if you do, let me know, tag me or something, you know, it'd be really cool. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed.